Now I need to talk about the crisis in Ukraine because earlier today the Ukraine government and pro-Russian rebels swapped prisoners. Nearly 140 Ukrainian prisoners were exchanged for more than 50 rebel fighters. All of this, of course, happening just one year after the former president of Ukraine was ousted from office. CNN's senior international correspondent Nick Peyton Walsh is live in Donetsk for us. This seems to be one of the first possible positive signs of the Minsk agreement. Yes, but even though those stages in the Minsk agreement, prisoner swaps, and also the withdrawal of heavy weapons are occurring, that is not held it in by a cessation in the violence. This Donetsk hit by shelling last night, we don't know about the casualties, but it's such a stark contrast to the scenes playing out now in Kiev, the somber remembrance of those dozens who died in the violence just before ex-president Viktor Yanukovych fled the country. I remember being there and that sense of real unease, uncertainty, quite what on earth could unfold in Ukraine next, uh, given how peaceful political processes have been up until that stage. But nobody, I think, had imagined we'd still be standing here now, a year later, in the midst of what remains a raging civil war. Yes, they are talking about this ceasefire being implemented, but the key point of a ceasefire is that fire does in fact cease. But instead, in the past week since it began, while the guns have fallen slightly quieter, uh, they were noisy last night, but quieter around this stronghold of Donetsk, where the separatists have most of their base, Around the Baltsova, a key strategic town, the violence really raged. The separatists swooped in there, routed the Ukrainian military, inflicting on them what Kiev admits is probably its worst military uh, period in this entire conflict. Nearly 180, maybe more, of their soldiers died in the month of the fighting for that particular town. Uh, and that, of course, is happening while this ceasefire allegedly is in place. World leaders still not calling it out yet and saying the violence has continued. I think perhaps the hope is if these other stages, like prison swaps, uh, heavy weapons withdrawals fall into place. Maybe the guns will silence themselves as well. Well, here in central Donetsk, it's comparatively quiet. You're hearing a noisy children's celebration behind me, a bit at normalcy, but still the shells keep falling. Victor, Christy. All right. Nick Peyton Walsh, uh, appreciate the report. Thank you.